But first we head to County Antrim, where Amanda St John is playing lots of virtual gigs when she's not paddling with dolphins. Amanda lives in the Glens. She's been keeping in touch with her fans through social media as she shares with them her wonderful environment. I walk the beach quite regularly just to kind of contemplate thoughts and just, just that's, I always say nature is my meditation. Um, and that song is written about standing on the beach and reflecting on life and trying to work out where I'm going um, and uh, just hoping for something better basically and, and trying to find that strength to make it work, make it happen. Standing on the edge and looking out to sea Every wave brings possibilities I'm digging deep into my soul and planting seeds In the hope that I can make a better life for me And sometimes you gotta take a leap and trust what Will be, will be, and put your faith into your dream. I can live without flying, but I can't live without trying. One of the things I think we've all loved about you, Amanda, is the amount that you take us outdoors and show us beautiful things like that glorious time kayaking with the dolphins. Oh, that was pretty surreal. It was just incredible. Um, my friend has kayaks and, and it was the first time we went out on them in a long time, to be honest. Um, and we were out just clear day, clear waters, and we were out about five minutes and we spotted a pod of dolphins and it was pretty pretty incredible they were swimming right under the boats and jumping beside us and it was just amazing it was amazing amazing experience and you also take a swimming yeah i was yeah i do swim i started at sea swimming in about august um literally just to manage my own stress levels and you know anxiety and stress around the whole pandemic and, and just to have a productive like a a positive focus for my time and it's totally addictive so I'll go, I go about four or five times a week but uh, I do post the odd wee um, video or reel or a clip from the water or something and yeah I do I love it. You've certainly brought a lot of joy into our lives uh, showing us where you live and what you do and uh, uh, we'll, we'll touch for a second I think on the, the roller boots you must tell us about that. <laughs> I know it's so funny friends of mine in Belfast um bought roller boots and I saw them their videos and I was like oh, I love roller boots and I used to have a pair when I was a child and I lived in them and I just thought why not you know it's a bit it's a bit of fun and I think this year we have to make our fun where we can find it and it is all outdoors and it's make use of our space and our time and I just want it to do something for the crack. One of the best laughs I got was when your roller boots arrived. It was a rainy day, so rather than wait till the rain was over, you just strapped them on and zoomed around your kitchen. Fabulous. I did, I did, and I fell a good few times and I didn't even care. <laughs> Moving back to uh, times when uh, uh, the music was getting a, a better uh, chance to be uh, heard by a wider audience, you did the Muscle Shoals sessions. Yeah. fabulous music in that say a little bit about how important it was to do that work at muscle shoals studios oh it was a pure life stream like a bucket list experience to get to record in that studio um i was going to be 40 and i just thought you know something play big or go home like do something big and uh it was pretty incredible walking into that studio and standing there and going like aretha was here like it was incredible, incredible. It was obvious you got a lot of energy and a lot of appreciation in the studio because the uh, the shots we see in the video show how much uh, the studio got behind you and it made you have fun while you were doing the recording. The musicians really got into it and I was thinking that they would be quite business-like, like they've played with ev all the greats. They've played with like Percy Sledge and Aretha and Paul Simon and everybody like, 
the bass player was was recording with Cheryl Crow the week before he was recording with me. And I was thinking that they would just be going through the motions, doing a job, they wouldn't be overly invested, but they really got behind it and fantastic feedback from them on the songs and, and we, we had a really lovely time with them, yeah. They got the chance to play with Aretha, they got the chance to play with Paul Simon, they got the chance to play with Cheryl Crow, and they got the chance to play with Amanda St. <laughs> John. Wonderful. I know, I know. We country girl from Ireland. We can't really say when, when the uh, lockdown's going to be over, Amanda, but uh, we're certainly looking forward to the opportunity for live gigs again. Have you got any gigs lined up or are you just working on it right now? I'll be very honest in that I am not, I'm not even looking, not even thinking about it. I, uh, I just can't afford to take the risk, Mike. Do you know, I had to cancel a whole, I had my album release last year. And I had spent like the guts of a year planning. It's a year in advance you're planning and you're booking venues and theatres and all the rest. So I had a whole like American, UK and Irish tour all cancelled. And I didn't, because I had to cancel the tour, I didn't get the return that I needed on sales, merch and tickets and everything to nearly justify the expense of the recording. So I'll be honest, I'm not planning any gigs until things get back to some sort of normality because I just can't afford to take the hit, to be honest. Well, here's hoping for a solid return to normality and to Amanda St. John back on stage and back on tour as soon as it's safe. <laughs>